Hello, welcome to your video on proportional versus non-proportional. Um, you will be able to identify proportional and non-proportional relationships using tables and graphs. First thing we need to address is what does proportional mean? Um, I'm sure you've probably seen that or heard of that word before, um, but what it means is it is a constant rate of change. In other words, the slope stays the same, and if you just quick reminder, slope is the change in y over the change in x. So as your y is increasing or decreasing, your x should be increasing or decreasing at the same amount. And then lastly, it must be a straight line that goes through the origin when you are graphing. How do I know if a table is proportional? Um, so what we're going to do is take a look at a table, and we've talked about the word proportional. You've maybe have heard it before, um, but a proportional just basically means you have a constant rate of change. In other words, a constant slope. Um, and slope is change in y over change in x. So when you're dealing with a table, you're just going to find the change in y, and then you're going to find the change in x and see if it's the same, um, because that's what your constant rate of change means. Um, so here my change is I'm increasing by 6, then I'm increasing by 2, then I'm increasing by 4. Um, now, that could potentially tell us that it is not the same, um, but we need to look at what's happening to our x's because um, you're familiar with them changing by 1 every time, but sometimes they change by different. Um, this is a change of 2, then we go back to a change of 1. Um, and so because of that, because our x isn't exactly the same, we have to find what the slope is for every single one. Um, so here I'm going to find the slope from going from 5 to 7. Um, so my change in y was 6 over my change in x, which was 2. And that reduces down to 3. So in other words, my rate of change or my slope for that, for those two points going between them was 3. Um, I have to reduce everything else down as well. So um, 21 to 23 is a change of 2 over 7 to 8. That's a change in 1, which is 2. Now I can actually stop right there. I don't even have to finish the problem because then I know a change of 3 and a change of 2 are not the same. Um, it is not proportional then because it has a different rate of change. Question number three, Andrew is a florist. The number of flowers over the last number of days, is it proportional or not? So we're going to do the same thing, change it in y, um, and that's two, then this is two, and this is two. That's all the same, so that could be, could potentially tell us it's the same. we got to look at what ha is happening to our x, um, and this one is actually increasing every single time. Um, so my chain is it not changing at all in between anything. Um, this is what you've seen many, many times. My change in y is 2. My change in x is 1. So my rate of change, or my slope, is 2. Or my another way to say that would be your constant um, is 2. And this would then be proportional. How do I know if a graph is proportional? Well, if you remember what I said about proportional, it means that it must be a straight line that goes through the origin. Um, it has to meet all of that criteria. So, for example, if you saw a graph that looked like this, it would not be proportional because it's not going through the origin, nor is it a straight line. Um, if you saw a graph that looked like this, um, the answer would also be no, because even though it is a straight line, it's not going through the origin, which is the key part in that. So it has to meet both criteria. Um, sometimes you'll be given word problems, um, or even tables. And now this word problem is what the table is talking about. Um, and so you already know how to find it from a table, so I won't spend a lot of time on that, um, but I will show you what the graph should look like. Um, so if I make a graph here, and I know we've done graphing, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this. Um,
but it should give you a general idea of what a graph is supposed to look like. So even though you know how to find it from a table, we're going to do this way as well. Um, so 0, 0 obviously is on there because if I don't buy any biscuits, it's not going to cost me any money. Um, if I buy one packet, it's going to be $8. Two packets is 16 Three packets is 24 and now I'm running out of space, so we need to use a different color dot. Um, and so now if I connect these lines, you can see that it does in fact make a straight line and it does cross through the origin. Um, and so I know that this is a proportional graph. Um, another part of this problem, it says what is the constant of proportionality or the unit rate because we know that unit rate and slope are the same thing. So if I find the slope of this, this is from 8 to 16, that's a change of 8, and then from 1 to 2, that's a change of 1. So my slope is 8 over 1, which is 8. Um, and then from what I've also learned about unit rate, unit is the cost for 1, and it's $1, or sorry, one eight dollars sorry, $8 for one pack. Um, and as you can see, that is the same. Um, and so the constant is actually your unit rate, or it's also your slope. It means the same thing. Um, your constant rate of change is 8 in this problem. This is your last page. You will now go to your notes um, and write your summary. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.